to have said that he actually was in World War II. So I really recognize the importance of this occasion. Uh, we're here for the Ibsley revival, and Ibsley was one of many World War II airports, or airfields, I should say, in those days, from which the Spitfires and Hurricanes in the Battle of Britain uh, fought to enable us to be here today. Uh, I certainly wouldn't have been here today if it hadn't been for them, because it was a as a result of what the fighter pilots in the Spitfires and Hurricanes did in the Battle of Britain that uh, Britain was able to keep going during the war. So this is, as I say, a really, really special occasion. Uh, and you probably know that Moore's Court was the station headquarters, and over there somewhere, there is the World War II concrete uh, control tower, which is going to be restored. And then I'm sure an awful lot of people over here have had a great deal to do with what is happening today. So I would like to say thank you very much to all of you. Thank you very much indeed for being here. And it's now my pleasure to declare it over. Thank you very much. I'm enormously impressed. Uh, I think the highest compliment I can pay it is it's a sort of mini Goodwood revival, isn't it? For somebody like me who was actually in World War II, this is a pretty emotional experience and certainly a very evocative one. It, it, it brings back a hell of a lot of memories for me and without wishing to sound pompous about it, I think it's very important that the youth of today and the younger people of today who haven't had the unpleasant experience of being involved with a war should realise something about it because it's, as, it's as, as, as a result of what happened at places like Ibsley, which was a World War II fighter aerodrome, that most of us are here today. It isn't the dance, as much as the girl. It isn't the song, it's not the song, only the girl. Some sat and play, or we did a gray. Yet none of it will give you a thrill, only the girl. You listen to the band playing music at charms. But can't you understand, it's the girl in your arms. With two hearts and twine, you're going to find that there is romance, not in the dance, only the girl. I'm a, I'm a World War II buff. Uh, I was in World War II, I, I was in a tank regiment and I volunteered, I volunteered for tanks but deep down I wanted to be a Spitfire pilot. Frankly, because I was young, red-blooded, um, there was an enormous amount of glamour attached to it so uh, yeah, I'm interested in Spitfires and I've got a model of one in my study and all the emotionally evocative things you'd expect me to have. How long do you expect all this to take? About four years before yeah. she's flying. Yes. I mean, 18 months and she'll look like a plane again, but then all the intricate bit need, bits need to be done. Tiger Moth. Fantastic. And he can see you quite clearly, ladies and gentlemen, from the cockpit. You might get a raise. There you go. And the 